show. It's a talk show. So what are we talking about today? We're going to start with the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons. Of course. Finally, the Falcons won. What do you mean, finally? They've been winning. We've been winning all season, for crying out loud. I'm joking. I'm joking. Huh? Yeah, we're 6-2 for crying out loud. We're 6-2 for crying out loud. Yeah. But my boy, Philip Wheeler, got hurt today. Oh, no. Can I have a moment of silence for Philip Wheeler? For who? Philip Wheeler, he got hurt today. Yeah. I got a tweet. It's on Twitter. I mean, what did he hurt then? Let's call Phil right now. Call Phil up. Ah, that's that's my boy. If Philip you know Wheeler what? got hurt, that's definitely a FTS. Excuse moment. me, still in my shine. Oh, still in my shine. Yeah. All right, we have we have some world renowned superstars here with Ronald Scott, Mr. Angelo Taylor. We have Mr. Matthews. Hey. My feet was tired because all of them been running through my mind all night. <laughs> 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 what you hating, guys? You got uh, on? <laughs> no, yes. I was running from them in my dreams. Time to get out of there. Yeah. Where were you running from? I was running from all of y'all in my dreams. Where were we at? Y'all was on the track. We was all in the race. Uh-huh. And I was, in, I was ahead. Of course you were ahead. Behind Angelo. Because uh-huh. Angelo is the fastest. Who's the fastest out of you two? Uh oh, I see. She does. He is. He, he, he runs more than me. He runs a lot, and you know he's younger, only a year, but he's younger. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, and he on that stuff. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> hey, 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 we need to. Hey, we need to throw that out of there right away. We're we're natural. We're natural athletes. Hey. I'm joking. That was Marion. I thought she was behind me. Oh. oh. Marion is not here. <laughs> I'm joking. I thought Marion was standing behind me. See, see, listen. Listen, listen. In our sport, you don't make jokes like that. I know, right? No, you don't joke like that. Why? I know how to say one thing to make everybody be quiet. Steroids. Look. <laughs> Nobody's laughing. I am proud to say, I am proud to say that we have I'm proud to say we have two of the world-renowned athletes in here. Yes, world-renowned. We're going to start with myself, the great Dwight Phillips, of course. <laughs> and we have Angelo Taylor. Yeah, he broke his, broke his ankle earlier this week, so he was on the... He played in the basketball um, championship for recovering AAA. You know. Recovering geriatrics. Yeah. You got to start somewhere. Yeah, of He's course. One of Jerry's kids. Yeah. yeah. His last his name his first name is Jerry Atrix. That's his last name. Right. Right. So we're in this beautiful studio, Rebel Star. Rebel Star Media, and Rebel Star Media. Oh, I just like the way that rolls off my tongue. Rebel Star Media. Oh, it sounds great. It sounds it's actually great. a little right. Rebel yeah. Star Media. Yeah. But you know I like a rebel. Yeah, well, that's why that's why we named it Rebel Star Media. We are rebels. Neo Soul, thanks once again for being here. We really enjoyed you, and we hope to have you here in the future. Jacoby Rock, Jonelle PR, Rebel Star Media. We just finished an awesome event with Jacoby on the wheels of steel. So you took pictures with Kwanzaa Hall, Atlanta City Councilman, Lisa Wu, the hottest show on the air right now, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Who else is he? Oh, Quentin Aaron from The Blind Side is on the way. You see that movie? Blind Side. The um, Blind Side? I've heard of it, though. I, yeah. I didn't get a chance to see it. It's a big dude. So you got to be nice to him, or you from New York? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> you will be getting a knuckle sandwich. Mm-hmm. You are shutting it down. So Ramona DeRoe from B103 was telling me that you were actually mixing. And she said people don't do that no more. No, I was actually scratching. Scratching. Oh, okay. You know, like old school DJs do. Yeah, she said you were straight up mixing. No, what's it called, Serrano? No, Serato. Sur- computer, computer. No computer. Nothing, no auto tune. No, none Boom. of that. Boom. This is all me. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you want to do? What are some of the things that you want to do? Because your dad said you're ready to take it to the next level. Actually, I want to be kind of a big time producer and a big and a DJ. Okay, so you got to be an MC if you trying to do all of that. What's hey, up with I the mean, MC part? Hey. Where was your cordless mic? You were supposed to be like, Hey, Jacoby Roxanne, put your hands up. Put your, what, what happened?
Yeah, you want to be the silent assassin? Oh, no, no. I let my hands speak for me most of the time. What's up with the MC? I mean, what is a DJ if he can't scratch? What is an MC if he can't rap? What is a beat without the live clap? See, that's, that's <laughs> for your time. You I don't know that about that. I don't know See, about that. You, you got to be. When did you fall in love with hip-hop? Um, Like when I was nine years old. Nine? Yeah, nine. Are your family, their mom and dad, are they like hip-hop fanatics? They're more like jazz fanatics uh, and stuff. So I learned from hard jazz music. Hard doing the hip-hop stuff with, oh, no, I with can, some jazz people around. Well, actually, Just stuffing up the hip-hop. Well, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but I actually learned hip-hop from myself. I learned hip-hop So you had to teach yourself hip-hop. You yeah. know what? You got to tell Viva the Diva, all that jazz is good for the, in the background. Well, home. she's the one that actually likes rap. Oh, okay. she likes rap. See, I knew it was jazz. a reason that me and Diva, Fever the Diva, was yeah. getting down because I am a hip hop junkie. She like that Walker. She oh she that ain't no real rap. I no she like that that crunk oh, crunk She stuff. wanna be like no hands yeah no hands. Yeah. That's cause she just wanna shake your groove thing. Yeah. That's all that is. That's basically. But it. we talking about the hip hop the hibbit to the hibbit the hip hip. No no. <laughs> I mean, she she enjoys it, you but. You know, Judo, I need you to be the hip hop junkie, the hip hop kid. I do, but I do I, everything I, though. I, I, I don't think you a real hip hop junkie. I am. I am. Mm. I'm a real hip hop junkie for real. No, because I didn't hear no Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. But you did hear Run DMC. Yeah, I did hear Run DMC. Exactly. And then Dre, I heard some Dr. other Dre, stuff though. Dr. It was Dre, real funky Snoop though. Dog. You put like it wasn't house music, but it was something else, and I really like that spin you put on it. Um, I don't know. Not you're not talking about old school. You talking about um? But what was that? Um, it was hot. It was hot. Everybody was like, "What is he? What is the kid do? What, Jono? What are you doing? A child labor laws over here? <laughs> you in violation of code number ninety <laughs> five? I was like, "What? That's kid Jacoby Rock? You ain't know." Yeah. So is it Jacoby Rock or Kobe Rock? Kobe Rock. Kobe Rock. DJ so, Kid Kobe Rock. So why you didn't correct me all evening? Hey, I mean, you can call me Jacoby tomato, Rock because tomato. that's my name. I no, mean, you got to say, yo, it's Kid Kobe Rock. Um, Get it together. <laughs> oh, see, he didn't know we was live. We on Ustream and live. That's a, that's only his that's only his fourth drink. He's straight. That's the inside you know, joke. he had a lot of ice. We watered it down. We made sure hey, he had a lot of juice. We are interviewing. We're interviewing now. Yeah, She's know, still just, rolling. I know. We're gonna roll. So let's talk about your social life because I never see you out and about. You never see me out and about. Never. Every what time I see you, it's at a function. Really. So do you go out? I mean. Well, really, I really I go out occasionally, but I, I take a lot of pride in. Build, building this business currently. You know, I'm 33 years old, I've lived that life, and I'm gonna continue to live that life. But now I'm at a point where I want to start thinking about, you know, what, what after sports. You know, I've been number one in the What you're saying is you're not going out right now? I'm not saying I'm not going out. I've been going out oh, for the last. Oh, he ain't going out because he's staying in more. No, I've been going out for the last eight weeks, straight. Oh, really? Yeah, I've I haven't been out seen of the you country. out anywhere. You see, I've been out of the country. Oh, I've been out of the he's state. An international player. No, so my we, bad. So basically, I've been traveling around the United States right. to various destinations. Just like what kind of destinations? Are you saying you have a woman in every state? No, 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 no. That that is totally not. Uh, okay, I'm just you know America. I'm trying to answer these questions for you because I know you want to know. The well, people of People TV, they want to know like what's okay. going on with Dwight Phillips. Well, basically, you know, I just been traveling. I went to Miami, Los Angeles, New York. And those, I'm on, now, those are the party cities. Yeah, I know you Houston. ain't there running track. Yeah, it's party. That's what I said. The last eight oh, weeks, I've been okay, partying. Okay. And then I, I, my grand finale right. will be in Monaco on the 20th of November. Why you didn't invite me to go to Monaco? Because I didn't know that you wanted to go. Had I known. Did you ask if I wanted to go? No, I didn't. I didn't. So I haven't. You to know? The only to, like you said earlier. Telepathy. The only time that I've seen you were, were at events. Uh, so did we you have to. my number today? This. Yes, I have your number now. Okay. Yeah. So, so we have to remedy that. Mortis. No. I didn't know you wanted to go. Or I yeah. didn't know where you was. I didn't know how to reach you. Yeah, we most definitely have to remedy that. The things that. men say, instead of just saying they stood you up, they didn't ever know. Exactly. Did you see For Color Girls yet? No, I haven't seen that film, but just I don't say the word. I'm sorry. 
Because no, I got sorry like, greeting me at the no, front listen, door. Listen, I haven't seen that film yet. But okay. Perhaps maybe I will go see it over the next week or so. Well, I would like to go with you when you go. Because I want to see it again. Enough said. Let's do it. I'm serious. I'm serious too. The people of People TV are going to want to know what happened after we saw the film. So we got to cover it. We have to follow up. We have we to follow up. Because the media has been very, very harsh. Variety Magazine. Um, Hollywood Reporter, The Insider, they're just not giving Tyler Perry a break. Well, well, they can say what he wants to, they want to say about him. He makes films and he, he does actually, a great job. According to Forbes magazine, he is one of the most successful commercial black filmmakers. Period. He's not one, he is yes, the, the most successful. successful. Yes. Yeah. So that's Spike Lee. Spike make some Lee. more films, Spike. Spike Lee thumbs up, man, but Tyler right now He's running the game. He's running the game. I mean, it's like the numbers show it. He's running the game. <laughs> Moses Robinson, you know. He, he's a world-renowned photographer. He's he a world-renowned photographer. He just got today just on a proclamation a day. A proclamation. Yeah. yeah. Yes. For the Moses. Yeah. The Moses. Well, you know. so it's but you know what, Moses? What? I, because this is People TV and we keep it real, when you was getting your proclamation, Dwight said he had 14 proclamations. For real? <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100. Well, you know, I'm trying you know? to catch up. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> no, I'm trying to catch up. This man is world renowned. He's world renowned. Everybody. Yeah. Time. He said times. I think he was doing a Spike Lee, and Moses was being Tyler, and he was doing a little Spike Lee on well, the you know, side. The difference between myself and him, he's in Wikipedia. I'm not. You not in Wikipedia? No, I'm not. You know what? I'm putting no, Moses in Wikipedia no, no, no. tonight. Moses, he's I'm building Wikipedia. him a Wikipedia I'm tonight. Yeah, no, because you I'm can make him. it. You can create a Wikipedia account. Oh, well, anybody you know. can do it, and anybody can edit it. I can go on Wikipedia. Any race, all his stuff. I can well, put everything well, in there. That's why Wikipedia is this not is a very man. reliable you know source. If I'm gonna be in Wikipedia, I'm gonna get my um, writer, Larry Bagley. I'm gonna get him to start it off. Oh, so he's saying that my little Wikipedia statement ain't big enough. He'll get Larry to do it. You know what, Moses? Go on and get Larry to do it. Larry, you're going to do it, right? That's why he's not in Wikipedia now, waiting on Larry. This young lady here. Excuse this right. young lady. I don't even want to do it no more. She, she enjoys trouble. She I don't even want to talk trouble. about Wikipedia no more. Let's move on to well, another you know topic. Y'all can call right. Y'all can call right. How about that? Nah, that's well, I'm all right. I'm a director, solo artist. She's the, just a director. <laughs> I'm more of it. It's Jonel. It. Yeah, Jonel PR, All right. not Jonel PR and Associates. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, and, you know, today's. You have news. very white teeth. Thank you. Yeah, I like that. Thanks. And nice frames. I love these frames. I just can't get over well, him and know, Cricket have frames, and I have well, none. We were definitely inspired by Steve Urkel. And um, Malcolm X, those guys just really inspired us. Those are some nice frames. I, I really like them. They oh. just stand out. Yeah, they're not, like the, typical, they're not, they're not like the typical black they're frames. Everybody nice. has the black. Tortoise shell. So, so I'm like, hey, I'm going to do the tortoise shell. Okay, I like that. Game, I like right? that. Very classy, very classy. All right. All right. So what's, what's going on um, for you in these upcoming weeks? The upcoming weeks, I am focusing on refocusing my business. 2011 is around so, the corner. So basically, you're going to recalibrate everything. I'm recalibrating. I'm kicking some folks to the curb. I'm bringing in some new people. Because I am very passionate about what I do. So the one thing I cannot be is more passionate about your career than you are. It's impossible. You can't do it's that. It's impossible. You so I'm guilty of that. Because when I'm into something, I'm into it. Like, I'm 150% into it. You know what? But if you're not 150% into it and it's your business, then I need to reevaluate. You know what? I feel likewise. I feel the same exact way. Yeah. Like, this, this coming year, not even before. It's going to happen way before 2011. Oh, yeah. We got it next week. People are going to get kicked off the team. Right. And other people are going to be playing on the team right so we can make the championship team I think November is a month to refocus yeah. because you don't want to start it in January because it's too no, it's late it's too late it's too, you're, right. you're always it's behind. too late you're so behind. if so December is now. set up like if you set up December like really you got to set it up in November that the trial November. run should begin in it's December yeah, it's, it's and then by by January, you should be already two laps around. There you go. That's yeah. Nice. So See, I, like this, this, I just want to get on the page with clients that are on the same page and that want to excel. Because 
I want to excel. People TV, we love you. We love you. Thank you for entertaining. The, the white Dwight is tired of talking. The Dwight and Janelle show. The, the DP tuned. and JPR TV show. Check us out. Dwight has very week. nice teeth. Smile one more time, man. Oh my God. The smile. <laughs> he is just. Wow. That's the thing about Angelo. He may be a faster runner, but his teeth are not as white. He's, he's, a, uh, <laughs> he's fast. I'm fast too now. I'm gonna I know. I heard now. you was fast. But this is like the Olympic champion. I'm like getting this burst of energy to just run a lap just from sitting beside you. Like, well, let's, I go, feel out, let's it. go outside and do it. Let's make it happen. All right. Let's, let's make it happen. First thing tomorrow. <laughs> Peace to you, People TV. We love you, Nioso.